Topping our news tonight, a developing story up in Bradenton. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is investigating a fatal shooting tonight at a Bradenton bar. It happened just after midnight at Tommy Knocker's Saloon on 14th Street West. Investigators say two groups of men got into an argument at the bar. Things continued outside where eventually shots were fired. One person died at the hospital and four others are recovering from non life threatening injuries tonight. The search continuing for the gunman and deputies are not ruling out the possibility of multiple shooters. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from outside that bar in Bradenton to share who deputies are looking for and how the bar's owner is making sure customers feel safe. Erica. Adam, good evening. Deputies say the altercation started inside but came out to this parking lot and some bystanders gathered around to watch. Unfortunately, several got caught in the line of fire during that shooting. Anytime there's, uh, you know, somebody gets hurt or if there's a loss of life, that's an unnecessary tragedy. A bar fight turned fatal Sunday morning when shots were fired killing 39 year old Gabriel Condi. It all started with an argument inside Mark Rosado's bar. It's not typical. Things like this don't happen. And I think there's plenty of people around town that I can test to that. There have been problems with uh, this particular establishment in the past. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says this isn't the first crime they've investigated at Tommy Knocker's saloon and they don't believe the shooting was random. We have every reason to believe that who came to the group that came to the saloon came there with the purpose of trying to start an argument which led to a fight, which led to a shooting, which led to a homicide. There was no indication that there was going to be a problem. Just two groups of people being at the same place at the same time and they should never have been here. Rosado wants to make sure everyone feels safe at his bar which is why he's installed 24 total cameras inside and out. Sheriff's deputies took footage from Sunday's brawl for their investigation. To take our time collecting all the evidence inside, outside, surrounding uh, businesses, neighborhoods. Rosado says the Tommy Knockers team has invested significantly in recent renovations and doesn't want the shooting to hurt the bar's reputation. We give a lot back here, and that's the reason why we've lasted 10 years. Now the investigation is ongoing at this time. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says it's not ruling out the possibility that the shooting could be gang or drug related. Reporting live in Manatee County, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.